Okay, this is the demo and conclusion of Sprint 8 of the Sinopia uh, project. And today we're going to, uh, I'm Josh Grevin, I'm a developer on the Sinopia project, and today we're going to demo uh, some of the new features that we built into the um, Sinopia bibliographic editors uh, user interface. So three things, uh, new things from the last time there was a demo is the ability to import profiles, the ability to uh, display modal um, from clicking on buttons based on the resource templates that are imported, and the ability to do lookups to external resources, uh, specifically the questioning authority service. So the first thing I'm going to demo is just show you the, the default resource template that gets loaded when the page, when the editor loads. Um, and if we click on these buttons, we will see that uh, modal windows pop up based on the resource templates they refer to with the fields. And if they refer to other resource templates, those also render buttons that open up more modal windows, et cetera, et cetera, as defined by the particular resource templates that are loaded or that are on the server. So, those are the modals. I'm going to cancel out all of those. And now I'm going to demonstrate uh, various input fields that do lookups to external resources. Um, when you click on, for example, carrier type, um, right now it's just a referring to a hard coded list that's on the Sinopia server at this point. But in the future, this is going to go out to the Library of Congress service to fetch all the different carrier types and display them as you see. Um, same thing with frequency. And we also have the ability for uh, fields that are just a field that accept a literal input to take a default value. And that's what you see here with this DLC would be the default value for this literal. And we can add more uh, text to it. And then we can get rid of the text as such. Right now, there's a little bug where it jumps to the top that we're going to fix. So, so let's see, we've demoed the, the modals, the lookups for the input fields, and then finally, there's going to be the ability to import a profile. So right now, we're looking at the default profile that gets that we start with, but we can import one. And we can either drag something and drop it here, or if I click on this box, I can just select it from my dialog here, and I'm going to select um, item profile, and this was one that was exported from the profile editor. And you can see that now we have the item resource template here, and all of the um, resource templates that it refers to, barcode, and these also open up their respective modal windows, and then all the input fields. And you can see this one is actually a lot longer than the default one that we've been working with. So goes down, 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 so. And that is the end of the demo and conclusion of Sprint 8 of the Sinobia work project. Thank you.